Good evening, everybody. The debate over immigration, over how to manage our southern border, has divided this country and partially shut down our federal government. Yeah, it couldn't be more serious. We know that. But no matter what side you are on politically, I wonder if we could all open up a moment and consider the kids who are legally seeking asylum here in our country but aren't getting it. A couple of weeks ago, a St. Paul immigration lawyer, Carolina, went to our border to find out just how many kids were living as orphans on the border and what could be done to help them. What led you to the border? So we knew that the caravan had arrived in Tijuana and there were thousands of asylum seekers there, including children, um, and they were needing help. They needed immigration attorneys to help sort of explain the process of how you enter the United States and what happens when you enter the United States and what our asylum system even is. So that's why I went down there. Legally? Yeah, it's entirely legal process. From beginning to end, it's entirely legal. Going to a port of entry to tell Border Patrol you are seeking asylum is actually what our Department of Homeland Security told those migrants who were fearful of violence in their homeland to do. But the issue is the children younger than 18 are just that, children. We saw kids, um, teenagers, tweens, younger than that. They don't understand what to do, Kara said. And most, if not all of them, are without their parents for reasons we don't know. My impression 100% is that they were trying to go somewhere safe. There was never any doubt in anyone's mind that they were fleeing really serious danger in their home countries, whether it's gang violence or domestic violence. You're not helping people who are illegally crossing. No, they're lawfully crossing. They're walking right up to border officials and saying, hello, I'd like to enter the United States. There's nothing illegal about that. The problem is there are just so many of them, hundreds actually, and because they're minors, they're having a hard time getting heard by border agents, according to Kara. So they're being taken to shelters in Tijuana. And those shelters aren't the safest place in the world, and they have next to nothing to offer them. They don't have anything. They don't have family, they're living in shelters. They have nothing. And so upon her return, Kara and some of her friends started a GoFundMe to help the kids get the basics while they wait to get their asylum pleas heard. This money will go to hiring a teacher, hiring a trauma counselor, hiring a lawyer so these kids can have their questions answered and be ready to enter the United States when they can. So far, they've raised $65,000 of a $100,000 goal. Enough that last week they were able to buy the kids some Christmas presents. Critics could say to you, Kara, we need to help the people in our own country. People say that to me pretty frequently, sure. and I think all giving is great. Um, but when I think about kids without their parents who are really stuck, um, that's a really vulnerable group that I think we should think about helping. Helping children should be the least controversial thing out there. Also worth pointing out, minors seeking asylum in the United States are vetted just as much as adults are. If the children do get approved as asylum seekers, and it's a big process, they go into U.S. government custody until a sponsor can be found to house them in the United States. Kara said almost all the children she met with have relatives somewhere in the U.S. that could sponsor them. If you have any interest in learning about this fundraiser, that's all. I put it on my Twitter page for you to check out. So is there a backlog? of people seeking asylum then at the border, which is why they have to go back to Tijuana instead of welcoming them in and vetting them here? Isn't that the no tolerance policy? Uh, that's supposed to be done away with. And so if you're seeking asylum, you're supposed to get your case heard right away, but it's, this is a backlog, it's just not right? possible. Yeah, and when they're kids, I mean, you have different things to deal with. If, yeah. if they're 10 years old, you have a lot more questions. Now, there's a lot of information out there that they are, some in some cases, some have said they're being illegally turned away that they're not being treated right. fairly and yeah. they're just getting shut away. And that's not supposed to happen. Huh. The director of Homeland Security has said that. And I heard just this morning, the Border, border Patrol said so too, but they're just not equipped to handle this many people. But there is a process, it's in our law, that we have to figure out a way to handle this. And no, it's no certain president's fault. We didn't figure it out in the last administration or the one before that. And that's why immigration reform is important. Yeah. Yeah, she said that helping children should be the least controversial thing we have. And that's just kind of yeah. puts it right into perspective yeah. so all right now to day seven of the government shutdown